There are many reasons why people sell stocks, whether it is for profit or loss. Therefore, let's dive in and explore the reasons why people sell stocks at the first place. And of course, at the end, my perspective, what you should consider before selling. Hi, my name is Sunny and I make videos that affect a common man financially. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to it alongside smashing that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm, which will be highly appreciated. There are many reasons why people sell stocks that they might have bought short while ago with much fanfare. Let me spell out some of them. Number one, need money sooner than you thought. This is one of the most common reasons why at times we need money to cover some emergency or unexpected financial obligations. It's true when we buy, we always plan for long term, but there are certain things in life which come unplanned and you cannot even foresee them in advance. In such situations, you got to do what you got to do to raise money. Number two, you bought a wrong stock. This too is a fairly common reason why people sell, but often they do not accept it. I have been investing for a long while, still made some bad calls, thus had to sell to cut losses. No shame in admitting that. The company was doing good earlier, where fundamentals and macroeconomic scenario was positive. Suddenly something went wrong, like maybe the market share is falling now. Competition is catching up with better lower price products, or even incompetent managers assume too much debt. I know this all changed your investment thesis why you bought it at the first place. The worst case, you picked the wrong company to start with as you got carried away because of X, Y reasons. Therefore, it does not make sense to keep invested and you want to sell out. Number three, want to book profits. There are situations when you want to sell a stock as its price has risen dramatically while it is not your high conviction stock. Another scenario where it has reached your target price beyond which you think it will be overpriced or simply the stock has been trading very low for a long period of time, suddenly it has gone up substantially where you want to sell out, book profits and get out. Finally, there are cases when it reached the technical inflection point, thus selling while taking profits makes sense. Number four, rebalance portfolio. People tend to rebalance their portfolio when one stock carries a disproportionate weightage. Most importantly, you are not comfortable with too much exposure in one stock. In simple words, you are trying to diversify your portfolio, where if one stock goes down, that should not have catastrophic consequences for your entire portfolio. Or if you are close to your retirement, people tend to venture into little safer financial instruments because in that phase of your life, you're more concerned about wealth conservation than growth. Another reason could be you don't want to be stuck financially. If suddenly the market goes down, so does your portfolio and you are on the verge of retirement. There are times when selling a stock can be a little intimidating because you know very well that if you sell it, you may not be able to buy that at a lower price. Tesla being a perfect example in my view. Now, before you even think about selling, first you need to buy it. Broadly, stock investing has got two parts. First, the financial part where we expect returns and the second is the human psychology behind investing. The financial analytical part of stock investing is relatively easier where you can either learn to do it yourself or get an expert opinion. I think the difficult part is the psychology of developing an investor mindset which takes a while to develop. The issue being we humans, we have got herd mentality since we follow our friends or relatives who had made some money investing in a particular stock. We never evaluate our risk tolerances or financial capabilities relative to them. We just jump the gun and buy what they have already bought. The chances are that we will be buying now at a relatively higher price as compared to where they have bought initially. To make money, you need to buy low while selling high. Just give it a thought how under these conditions someone can make profits, but then we blame the stock market. Therefore, you need to be a patient investor, have a plan ready before you even buy a stock. 
avoid buying when there is a frenzy going on since the smart money has already moved out. At the last, there are some investments like Tesla which are buy now and hold forever at least in my case. But that is me, I might be wrong, do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. This is my take on the topic, when to sell stocks. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.